Hello, hello again. So here we are. You might remember. I'm using Thor to try to cover the people of Skyrim 2. And let me just show you that real fast. It's a pretty big mod and it adds a lot to the game. And I don't think it really adds quests to the game so far from what I'm seeing. It adds it adds more of the old style type of where it's kind of a quest. We consider quests now to have uh, you know quest markers and all this and then you know like an official quest and quest marker and stuff. And I don't think that's what they've added here. Now uh, they don't really tell you how anything starts in this or what it is. It just says that there's, you know, all this stuff. And that's cool. I don't have any problem with that. Now, I have found on Thor, you might notice he's wearing some slightly different stuff. And that's because I really like this. Let me see if we can, uh, let's move forward to daytime so that you have a chance to see. I'm just kind of doing like a little shout out to this because it's a nice set of armor and there's a couple more that we're going to do spotlights on. I've already done a spotlight on this one. So um, so this is oh my goodness if you don't want to see this you can, you can skip forward a couple of minutes because I'm just going to go into I'm going to show this armor, and then I'm going to go into the books I found and how that relates to what I think the stories we're supposed to be following. We're really following more stories than doing actual quests. But I wanted to show you this because I think this is a very nice armor. I'm using the Stark Armor by Nord War, and I think I'm going to have possibly Krom use the Chainmail. But right now, Thor's using this, and Krom I think is still using Blade's Armor. But I like both of these really well. And I'm really wanting to use those, and I may drop some of these other armors that I don't need. So, that's why Thor looks like this. And we're using Cathedral Weathers again, uh, just because I liked it, and I'm just trying to get used to it. And I think for adventuring and stories, it's great. I think it's not so good for my spotlights, because it affects my interior lighting too much, and it kind of freaks my eyes out. But for adventuring and exploring caves and dungeons, it's great. So <clears throat> I'm going to try it some more. So that is that about my book run. I mean, my game right now, how it is. The books we have found on Thor are two. We found this one, Edda's Diary. I don't remember where Edda was. But basically, if you read this, I've spent many years searching for blade armor and artifacts and no the toaster is actually not on her machine actually turned itself on which it does that from time to time I'm not even gonna try to figure out why it has something to do with that always on state technology that Microsoft originally put in the first Xbox one where you would walk in and it would be always really be on in the background and you would talk to it and it would bring up your TV and all that. So that one still comes on by itself sometimes. Anyway, we'll ignore that. <clears throat> so, so I spent many years searching for blade armor and artifacts and had accum I had accumulated vast treasures of capital until some dirty sneaky thief made off with it all. So I have baited the taverns with in and ends with new stories. I hope this criminal will attempt to make a move on the last of what I have in the hope I can recover what is mine, my own, my precious relics of a bygone age, which I kind of like the way they put that, you know, nod to Lord of the Rings. It's cute. So this is basically a story-based quest. But it's a story to pursue. If we go to the ends, we should be able to overhear or hear some stories that will lead us to places to explore, and maybe we'll be able to find some of these relics. Or find this person I don't know and maybe we'll get a quest from them or maybe we'll just continue further story now here's another one we found here this book we found at these ruins here 
let me show you on the map. If nothing else, this will help you get started on your playthrough. I'm going to do a few of these and I'm going to try to uh, do a playthrough of some of these, but I'm not going to do everything because that would kind of spoil it. Um, so I'm just going to do some stuff, and the more I like, maybe the more I'll do, but nonetheless, it's entertaining and it's, you know, it almost gives you like a mystery type of thing and you're looking for clues, so it's kind of fun. So we're outside of Windhelm doing this. And where is that bouncer? We got that book off the dead bouncer. I don't know where he is now. She reanimated him. He may have turned into another ash pile. Let's see, we killed this thing. I remember that. We killed some wolves up there. Oh, he did. He turned into another ash pile. Here he is. Oh, he has... Oh, does he have another small note? I need you to go out and find the missing pit wolves before the next tournament. Oh, find them and bring them back to Crags Lane at once. Well, unfortunately, I think we killed those pit wolves. Yep, we did. There's three of them here. Oh, that one I did not like. But there we go. All right, so see, that's another thing. Maybe we should investigate Crags Lane. But right now, I want to go to an inn. Oh, wait, I was going to show you that other note. I'm so sorry. So you need a key for this place, right? There's, there's no way to get in without a key. All right, okay. So, the book for this place is called this. And it says, treasures abound, they say. I heard of an old Dwemer chest at Raven Rock with a strange key in it. They carried the inscription of this Dwemer structure's name upon it. I gave my knife as a trade for the info. Anyway. They, you know, we have to go to Solstein for that. But first, I just want to go to an inn and see if we can hear some of those other stories. So these are the clues we're looking for or on to. You know what, maybe I'll go up here to Winterhold first. Don't pay any attention. For some reason, something removed my marker for Winterhold. So I just go to the college and then walk down to Winterhold. So it's a bit annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm not sure what mod did that or why. It may be linked to the cheat room button that shows everything. Oh, wrong button. That shows all the icons on your map. See, there are some new locations out here around the college in Winterhold that have to do with the people of Skyrim, too. So, just so you know. And those icons like that, let me see if I can show you one on the map. If you're playing survival, these are little encampments that you have with little fires. Um, so if you're playing, you know, uh, what's that? Uh, you're playing that kind of survival where the cold is a real threat and really hurts you. Um, those are places with little campfires where you can get out of the frostiness and <clears throat> be... Uh, Hopefully be safe and warm. I'm trying to make sure I have all our quests turned off. I don't want anything turned on for us right now. I just want us to play through this People of Skyrim, some of these stories, and see what we can find. So let's go into the inn and listen around, listen a bit. Does he look grumped? Azura's wisdom to you, friend. He does look a little grunt. Oh my goodness. This is the problem with trying to do a playthrough. Let's see, let me know if you need anything. That's pretty normal, nothing unusual there.
sorry about that. How long are we gonna let Vanmere drink himself into a stupor? When will enough be? Drink enough? himself. Okay, that's different. That's another normal thing. Okay, so I was looking for a different type of story. Let's see who this is. Has she got... Oh, she's got the... You know, I know what causes that face glitch. I can tell you. In my game. Hold on a second. I'm just going to go remove it. We can test it out later, but... Pardon me for a moment. I'm not going to run around with that going on. I have tried moving this mod around because I know the mod that causes it. But I can just go turn it off. We won't have to deal with it during these playthroughs. I really like it for some things. It's really nice, but unfortunately it adds that little face glitch periodically and I don't know why. I'm not sure where to move it so that it won't do that either. So. But for now, we don't really need it. I'm just going to turn it off. Thor's not really using it. And actually, once you make your character, you really don't need it. Once your character is made the way you want, you can just turn this off. And I think, I think everything will remain as it should. I think. And it could be that if your character's purple, like one of my people, that maybe I will lose that. But we'll see. For Thor, I don't think it matters for him. So I apologize for that, but I'm not going to run around with people being all messed up in my game. I don't like that. So hopefully this will fix it. I didn't do a full, you know, restart or anything, so I may have to back out and do more. But for right now, let's try this. If this doesn't work, then I'll do that. I mainly use those colors for my elves anyway. I really don't have to have them. See, now her face is fine. No problems. I really like that little vanity kit. I gotta figure out where it goes. Need something? Fine. My accommodations here continue to be just what I need. There haven't been any problems. Are you referring to your other customers? No, everything is quite all right. I expect a bit of animosity now. I see. Well, now here's a man I'm glad to, to see. Well, I'm not hearing any stories here. Does it need to be a different time of night or day? Let's let's give it. Uh, let's not go 12 hours. Let's go to like what do you think about seven ish, and see if the crowd changes if we get some stories. I understand Irid's been playing Hunt the Elf again. It's just children playing hard. The mages don't let us go in the hallway. They said it's not I'm safe not there. Ready. I don't want Irid to. Lady the gods watch over your battles, friend. All right, all right. I'll speak to her. Okay, that's the Jarl. It's fine. I don't care how many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. Okay, so I'm not getting any stories here. I went and sold all my stuff, so hmm? I don't really need Xenia need unless she has some training for me. Of course. I'll take the training every time. Do I have anything to look. sell her? I don't think so. But it's just since we're here and we are doing a playthrough, let's just sell whatever junk we have while we're here. Oh, I do have a little bit of stuff. Nothing special. Let's 
sack of flour. There's no telling what these guys are holding on to when I kill them. Let's see, we don't need that. I tried to also put away all my crafting stuff so we wouldn't have to look and see that. It speeds up my inventory quite a bit, as you can probably tell. All right. Until next time. Okay, we didn't get any stories here, so let's go to some of the other ends and see if we can find what we're looking for. Maybe we'll go down to Windhelm and check out Candle Hearth. We'll just go and stand around. This is going to be a little on the boring side if this is what I have to do all the time. So I apologize for that. But you're like looking for a clue. You're trying to find clues and uh, find what you need to continue these little stories. So see, it's a little dark at night. This is a little hard to use for my um, spotlights, but for these playthroughs, I think this is more appropriate. The world will be kind of dark. Do I have any leather to do? I'm going to try to make the tailors. Let me see what I need for the tailors measure. Just leather strips. Let's go make some leather strips. Alright, so let's go down and get that. That way we'll, we'll have it as needed. I'll probably give the beggars some better clothes and stuff. That's what I usually try to do. It's silly, but I try to be nice to them. There we go. So we can give Silda some clothes so she'll look better and be warmer. If she's still out here, she is still out here. She can't train me right now. It's but so good to see you again. Oh, thank you. D huh? Yeah, let's just get some clothes on. How about... Hmm, what is good? Let's, let's, let's wear something nice and warm. Yeah, we'll make okay, fun of Arrow. Okay, you've talked me into never it. wear that. Ta-da, now she's all nice and warm. Spare right. coin. Rewards generous. Let's go to Candle Hearth Hall. See if we can find our story we're looking for. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean tub around here. Somewhere. In the sky. His roar pure is fire. And his scales sharpen. Need something? Oh, that's a possible a follower. And they fled as they issued their you know about Talos? He founded the Empire. We need saviors to free us from mm -hmm. all to win his rage. Blessing the to streets are safer now, thanks to you. This new war to wage. And if Alduin wins, man is gone from this world. We'll go stand over here and see if we hear anything. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. Best not to walk the roads of Skyrim alone. Last is winter, they entered the fray. And all heard the music of Alduin's doom. That sweet song of Skyrim, well, sky hmm. shattering doom. I thought and this would so be a good thing, but <laughs> maybe it's not a good thing. We have to listen to the song. Well, let's give it a minute. Ah. 
You know what? I think we can look at another end because I don't. I guess I don't have the patience for it, but I would think if we were going to hear something, we would have heard it. This is an ode to Skyrim's truest sons and daughters, the Stormcloaks. We drink to our youth, to the days come it's so and good gone, to see you again. for the age of oppression is now nearly done. What do you need? We'll yes. drive out the empire from this land that we own. Okay, With we're not going to get any more here. Let's go. We'll try a couple more ends if we don't hear anything when we move on. I am a little disappointed, but maybe that's just the way it is. Let's see, do they have, I don't think they even have an end, do they? I don't think so. Let's just, um, oh, actually, Iverstead has an end. Why don't we pop over here and we'll go to Iverstead. just crashed well okay I don't know why we would crash there like that let's try this again let's see I could skinny down my load order more if I really need to but I don't think I have anything that would really conflict with you know, just like traveling to Iverstead or something. Yep, continue from our last save. Well, if we have too, too much trouble getting a hold of this, we'll go to Solstheim and see if we can find that chest. I was really thinking we were supposed to follow up on these stories in the books and that this was more that type of mod. Because I haven't seen any quests or any way to get a new quest. So... And, and I can always go around and explore, but so far I haven't found anything. And I prefer being able to explore and talk to people and get quests that way and actually do a quest. I do prefer operating that way, but... I don't mind going back and doing things the old way, that's fine. Uh, as long as it works, if I have to bounce around for a couple hours to all the ends to find one end that actually has what we're looking for, well, that, that I, that's not cool. <laughs> if you say you've planted stories in all the ends and taverns, then there should be stories to be found in the ends and taverns. So. So we've only looked at two so far, you know, but we shouldn't have to go through a ton. Um, if this doesn't pan out, then I'm probably going to move on and go to Solstheim and look for that chest. All right, well, we get a nice picture here. Oh, and look at that. Well, it's too bad my HUD is on. Let's see if we can get a good picture of that. That would be fun to have, even though he's far off in the distance. If he'll come back to where he was, it would be great. I'll wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh, he's a little low. Come on back up. There we go. We'll get that. That'll be a fun little picture of the dragon. Just flying around at night, not bothering anybody. All right, we'll move on. I post some of these pictures in my Discord, so if you ever want to go out and see those, you can. I also put them on Facebook and stuff, so it's not like you don't have any way to see them. There they are there. All right, so let's go in the end here and see. Hail, companion. What's out there? We'll, we'll go explore some of these things. Man, it is dark here, isn't it? Well, I am using, you know, the little darkening at night. Oh. Who are this you? This one needs something? Mm -hmm. No. He looks like a dog guard guy. Let's go into Vile Mirror Inn. 